Okay, so we're just doing a little bit of work here. We want to check out a, uh, a mineralized vein that was found the other day. You have uh, Schistos rock running through the creek and there is sulfide veins and quartz veins. This one happens to be mineralized. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take the mini sledge, hammer away at this and uh, try and find a good sample or two. Uh, Mineralization is looking like uh, pyrite and calcopyrite. So let's start hammering. Looks like uh, you got more of the continuation of veining over here. All this under here is quartz. So the vein looks like it's a decent size. There is more quartz exposed up here, so we'll probably chase this a little bit and see if we can't notice something over here. Okay, so we pulled off uh, three separate samples so far. The primary one is right here, where you got this big honker right there. We pulled off another few chip samples from in here. And then we have a, a sample which is uh, mineralized schist, looks like graphitic schist. And uh, that was basically touching your quartz vein. So let's just take a look at the samples. So it seems like most of the mineralization in your schists is uh, pyritic with minor calcopyrite. And then as you get more into your actual quartz veining, it's a lot more calcopyrite than anything. So the reason why we're taking a sample here is the initial XRF came back with really good AU values. And this is the sample of the main vein. We'll break these open a little bit more and take a look. All right, so here is the quartz vein broken open.
decently mineralized with pyrite and calcopyrite. So that's our three samples. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you at the next one.